All right, you guys, I see the comments before the lens focuses on nothing but red light. I've been busy in the backhoe building out the office. But what I want to show you is I see what you guys are saying, like which red lights have I been using? The guide is missing. You have to understand a lot of the red lights that I've been using over the last five years come from Andrew and Andrew is no longer making large panels. They're switching to small skin contact devices. Andrew has helped me more than anyone else in red light therapy. He helped me get a custom calibrated spectrometer to be able to test these things. And so I've always been a fan of him, always been thankful for our interactions, always loved his products because they've absolutely delivered on exactly what he said they would, but they're not available anymore. So a lot of times it doesn't do you guys any good to see me in videos, right? In products that you can't buy. So what does that do for you? It doesn't do anything. So this is what I've been doing. I've been testing new panels. I've been testing the Heavenly Heat Max and Pro panels. I've actually created a DIY vertical uh, red light therapy bed. So this is basically like the poor man's red light therapy bed on a budget. I thought I could show this to you and pay attention to what's on the screen, but I got to step out because it's too bright. What I have for you is a new set of reviews on red light therapy panels that don't just focus on trying to get you to 150 to 200 watts of millimeter, uh, centimeters squared. <laughs> Milliwatts per centimeter squared. I hate this, these values of this stuff. The saunas are measurements are easier for me because I know them by heart. But the, um, the red light therapy stuff is quickly becoming the same thing as the sauna industry, right? Everyone's competing with each other to try to, you know, one up each other on intensity and output and everything else. But when I look at all the PubMed, PubMed studies, right? Just go on PubMed, type in photobiomodulation, red light therapy, low level laser therapy. There's all kinds of benefits on there from pain to wound healing. Uh, to traumatic brain injury stuff, to all kinds of things. There's almost so much more documentation on red light therapy than sauna. It's so much easier to deduce after you actually understand the science. So what I've been doing is testing panels against the science, right? I'm not looking for the biggest, baddest, although I do like the max panels by Heavenly Heat, by the way. I'll put links to this stuff in the description. Some of these reviews aren't out. Please bear in mind that I don't do this thing where a company just sends you a product and then we just tell you how great it is in the review. That's not how I work. That's not how I've ever worked. That's why sauna companies get so upset with me because you can't just buy reviews from us. You can't just get us to say that your product is good. You can't like, um, like there's no pay for play in that fashion. Do I set up ads and I'll have like referral relationships and all that stuff? Sure, once I know the products are good, who wouldn't, right? I'm spending my own money to do this stuff anyway. We're standing in a, in a building that I built with the help of my uncle, with my own two hands and my own money, right? So as much as of an enthusiast I am for this myself, I'm also completely dedicated to finding new ways to age gracefully, to improve longevity, to solve my own problems, right? After leukemia treatment, why do you think I was using red light therapy on my feet? Because I couldn't walk, right? It's not like, this isn't some influencer thing where I'm just wanting to make a campaign and make myself look good on film or something, right? Half my stuff isn't polished, I'm not shredded, I have troubles just like the next guy, I have hormone issues just like the next guy or gal, I have post-leukemia treatment you know, problems that I have to deal with that most people don't have to deal with, which I think is a blessing because it gives me a perspective. It gives me an ability to, why does this stuff make my eyes look so glassed over? It's in the morning. I haven't been drinking. <laughs> I don't know what's up. Um, you know, it gives me a unique perspective on real life, hard challenges uh, that all of us go through in varying degrees. And it's not a competition. It's about you and I doing the best that we can on our own journey because yours is different than mine and mine is different than yours. But a lot of the things that we face mentally, we think are different and they're not, we're the same, right? It's just varying degrees or different circumstances or different this and different that. And you got financial stuff that comes in and you know, what can people actually afford versus what can you do? I try to cater to both. That's why we do DIY stuff and we do high end stuff. And we, I try to do everything in between, but it takes time to make this stuff you guys. It's, it's going to take me a little while to get through all of these devices. And you have to remember, I have different, wow, the camera focus is really weird when you have red lights on. It freaks out and finds like shiny or glossy objects like my eyes. Oh, there we go, that's better. Um, I have different sets of equipment, you know, in the north than I do in Florida. I'll be back in Florida next week. It'll be a different set of panels. 
but give me a chance to get through these and see how they actually compare. I know everybody wants a list, a link, a recommendation, a this and that. I'm just not willing to give it to you at a compromise um, of integrity or actual functionality, right? Because here's what I found. The reason that I like the heavenly, height, the, the heavenly heat red lights, right? If you're looking for something today, I would say go buy these. They seem to work extremely well for me. I haven't had any issues with them. They have the pro and the max size. The max size is obviously huge. The reason that I like the heavenly heat stuff is because they're also working on ways to integrate these into sauna, right? So this model, <laughs> that's kind of a funny view. <laughs> I need to get a gimbal so it's steady and doesn't shake. But the cool thing is the same experiment that I'm doing over here with these, with the DIY, you know, vertical red light bed, whatever you want to call it, is the same panel that you can get in a sauna. And you don't have to, the thing that I like about this so much, the reason why I, I will get behind this idea is because this has a glass window to where if you decide that you don't want to use it in the sauna at all, you can take this out, put a glass window in there and your sauna functionality remains intact. No other company is doing that in that fashion, at least not to where you don't have a skinny vertical panel that has to have like a $2,000 stand or something in order to use it. And they're offering different sizes, right? If you want standalone panels, they have a lot of options. So if you have to have something today, I'll put a link down below. I recommend you take a look at the Heavenly Heat panels. I like them, they're working well. I do not know exactly how they compare to my other panel options in Florida, but we're gonna find out. I have these going there too. Um, I think you can use code justice for a small discount or you can look in the Facebook group and see about a group buy. But this is working extremely well for me. And somebody would ask, you know, like, do I really need this many panels? Absolutely not, right? What am I doing? I'm just trying to not spend $35,000 on a red light therapy bed, which I don't really think that I actually need. And I was able to heal from neuropathy in my feet post leukemia treatment with just two panels, right? And it wasn't even these. So it's not like an endorsement or a pitch or anything for any one brand. Just the validity of does this stuff work? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely has merit for sure. I myself have personally experienced it. Is it a magic cure? No. Is it going to fix all your problems overnight? Absolutely not, right? It's just not that. So what is it then? I think it's a, a valid therapy that should be included in your regimen that I think most people aren't getting with sauna. Even sauna that has chromotherapy, even saunas that are full spectrum, I don't think you're getting this much light because I don't look like this. If I can get in here. I can't see you anymore, by the way. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't look like this in a sauna with chromotherapy with um, full spectrum heaters in it, with the patio heaters, with the quartz halogen emitters, with you know this, that, and the other. So this is just an update video. Um, that's all I got for now. Let me get more seat time with all these products. Let me get some actual recommendations based on real world usage. Uh, I'm sorry that it's not fast enough for everybody. I know that, you know, everybody wants it yesterday, but at the same time, in order for us, by the way, that's my Lamborghini. Everybody has these fancy videos with wanting a Lamborghini. That's mine. Finally got it. Wanted it since I was eight years old. Got a backhoe. Been clearing a pad out here. What's this pad for? The outdoor saunas. So we gotta pour concrete. We gotta get the trenching in. We gotta do all the stuff, get all the storage out of the shipping container back there, get the little uh, setup built, get it powered, get this office finished, right? This is the creator studio that I built uh, with the help of my uncle, friends and family, loved ones. In the last two years, we gotta get this finished so that this can become the hub, right? And I hope to one day have you guys come here and be able to experience a lot of what we create. Obviously, we're a little ways out from that, but this is the update. Red light stuff coming. I'm sorry that it's not available. Give me a chance. It's coming.